Within TickTick, along with setting a due date for a specific date that the task will be due, we can also set the task to repeat on a regular basis. To do so, we would go into a task, go over to the task details pane, select the due date options, select the first date that the task would be due, let's say this Friday, then go down to the repeat button. Here we have several options. We can set the task to repeat daily. By doing so, we see that the task will be due every single day following February 3rd. Let's see the other options. We can set the task to repeat weekly, meaning every Friday, and we can scroll through the calendar to see which dates those will be. We can also select monthly, so maybe every first Friday of the month. It can be yearly, so every February 3rd, this task will repeat and will be due again. Now let me go back to the weekly option, which is probably the most likely scenario, and let me select every Friday. And then let's go into the custom option, which is used for more complex scenarios. This screen does change depending on what you had selected previously. So if you started with weekly, that might look different than how this screen looks if you select yearly. All right, so let's talk about the first drop down, which is by due date, by completion date, or by specific dates. So by due date is what we normally think of. Every Friday, this task will be due. It doesn't matter if I happen to complete it on Thursday ahead of time, or if it becomes overdue and I need to complete it on Saturday, it will still be due the next Friday. However, if I select by completion date, it will depend on when I actually complete the task. So if I complete it on Saturday, the due date will then change for the next event to be the following Saturday rather than Friday. Now, if we choose by specific dates, this would be for really complex situations, but we can actually select whatever dates we want to. It can be as random as we need it to be. It doesn't have to follow any set pattern. Let me go back into weekly and let me go back into custom. We can also change this to be every two weeks or every three weeks if we like. We can also select the dates down here. If it's not only due on Friday, but maybe it's due on Monday and Friday every three weeks, that could be an option. Uh, from here, we can also select every three months. And again, this view will change depending on what we have selected up here as the time block. So here we have different options. We could say every third month on the third, or we could say on the first Friday of every month, or on the first workday of every month, on the last workday of every month. There are all kinds of options within TickTick to set your task as repeating as you need it to be. Now let's talk about this button down here that says Endless. By default, our repeating task goes on forever until we stop it. But we also have an option to put an end date on it. So if we click on this Endless button, we can select End by a date. So maybe by June 1st, this task will be completed and it will no longer need to repeat. Or another option we have is end by repeat count. So maybe after this task has been repeated 10 times, that's the end of that task. We no longer need to repeat it anymore. So these are just some of the options that TickTick provides on how to set your task as repeating.